and we'll go to here okay so it looks like we have the chat on so I can see anyone chatting on YouTube and I can see anyone chatting on Twitch Let's see if I can use this to get a really beautiful hard edge on that eye. It's worth a shot, right? Let's see. Because that hard edge is going to go a long way. That's nice. Gonna park my airbrush for a sec. There, I think I have a nice hard edge now. So you can see just by a little extra work, you can do things to make the work much more effective. Hey Matt, good morning. How's it going, sir? Uh, just, this is sort of a little insomnia live stream I decided to do, Matt. I'm experimenting with uh, some cardstock paper uh, right here. Let me see if I have an example. It's very similar to this paper here that I draw with, which is the uh, Canford Gunmetal by De La Rowney. But this is a different color. It's a little bit lighter. And uh, I said, why don't I go ahead and try and, try and do uh, airbrush on it, you know, with the ink and see how it works. Yeah, uh, you know, since I was able to do it on that little sketch pad, the next step would be, this should be even better because it's much thicker, Matt. So we'll definitely find out. So it was funny, if you see the uh, live stream that was just before this, it would cut off, be uh, not because, but I spilled water all over this before I started with the airbrush. And it was pretty scary, but I knew that since it's a thick paper, if I just let it dry, it'll, it'll take care of itself. So, but that was pretty scary. It was, it's pretty funny to see. So if you get to see the other one later, you'll, you'll laugh as the water is spilling all over the artwork. I'll tell you, the, the paper is just really taking the airbrush so beautifully. Almost as if this is a board or illustration board. It really is something. Now to begin with, I did, uh, with this, is uh, two drops of water. Actually, three full eyedroppers of this. 
with every drop with just the two actual drops of the Higgins waterproof ink. So three full eyedroppers of water and just two drops of the ink. And that's the ratio with the Higgins, which is really good. Yeah, it was, man, it was something. And it was on, it, it was live too, like, oh my goodness. So what I did, Matt, is I projected this. I did a crude projection. And then after that, I was, uh, and I refined the drawing. And then today is when I'm starting to, you know, lightly put in tone with the airbrush. And this is a very light, light mid-tone. And of course, what I do is eventually I just get darker and darker as time goes on. And how I do that is I lower the dilution of water to ink ratio. So I love this, I love your work. So very impressed, Matt. I've seen your work on, uh, on Facebook and also on Instagram. So good going. It inspires me. One of the reasons to actually move around now more so than if I'm drawing or, you know, painting on board uh, is to make sure I don't over wet it because then the paper will start to warp and it will get really weird. So this is also a very good reason to move around. And my pressure, my air pressure is really low. I would say maybe 15 PSI if that, maybe even lower. And of course I stand up when I'm gonna be going in because I'm, it is on a flat surface. So it is precarious. And of course always look for the best freehand shield to get those really nice hard edges. Since I spilled water, I'm going to make sure that my freehand shields are not wet. Then I would just reposition the water onto the paper and that would be disastrous. And that's something that I would do. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm going to move this around until I get the edge that I want. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, that's a nice hard edge, so I like that. And oh, the harder in steam back, that's really great. Yeah, it's uh, always better to go. You're doing great. Uh, you just keep it up. And I have that same proclivity to go much darker. Uh, too soon and I just you know and we just got to train ourselves to you know we'll get there so you know it's best to go light and then go darker but then on the other hand sometimes you feel like if you don't go dark you won't go dark enough and then the drawing or painting will be too light so I definitely know how you feel
So right now, I'm Matt, I'm also on Twitch, and I'm looking at Twitch before, and I was like, oh, I got a viewer on Twitch, and the viewers meet myself, so that was pretty funny. How do you like the Harder and Steenbeck? I'm going to go back and start erasing some of these lines. Wow, that's great. That's good to hear. I definitely want to try one. So one of these days I'm going to go ahead and purchase one and just give it a try because uh, I know my European friends such as yourself, you guys really love them. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we could go ahead and erase that. But before I do that, I'm just going to turn on my air conditioner. I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back, got the air conditioner going. You might hear a little bit of a hum from the air conditioner. Sorry about that, Matt. Oh, a 0 0.3. I think that's exactly what this one is, the Eclipse. So the 0 0.3, you really gotta, you really gotta get in there, right? Um, the control and everything has to be just perfect with, uh, with the, with the smaller ones, like uh, my custom Micron, I know uh, it does really tight detail, but uh, but the 0 0.3 is really, really great because of how dur durable they are, right Matt? So I'm gonna erase this line here. It's very soft. I have to make sure I don't lose that detail there. And at this point I'm relying on my initial drawing, you know. I should have a piece of paper here so I don't touch this part of the surface. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, perfect. That's like a great compliment. A 0 0.3 and a 0 0.2. The best of both worlds. That's for sure. And as I'm racing uh, right now, I'm seeing that I need to sort of hit some of those uh, mid-tones here, just so I don't lose the drawing. So I'm feeling good that right now this is going nice and smooth. So I was figuring out why don't I go ahead and uh, do a live stream this time of night for my UK friends such as yourself Matt. Oh so oh wow yes I've done that too using uh, non waterproof ink or even watercolor and then going over it oh my god yes. It's, it's like you see your whole artwork flash before your eyes, right? That's a bad feeling. I know how that is, Matt. What's really great is I'm actually planning on going over this with pastel at the end, white pastel. Sort of like airbrush with a secret weapon at the end. And it's great, now I feel like I'm actually drawing with the airbrush. Now that's, this eye here is much more, much more defined. So I want to make sure that I get that. Try and use a freehand shield here. Let's see. And I'm going to take my time because you want to take your time during this this moment.
So I kind of uh, made sure I went a little hard edge. I can always soften that up. Just wanted to make sure that was, you know, really, really there. I didn't want to lose it. Re no, I haven't. So you actually Johnson's wax clear is actually good as protective coating for an acrylic painting that's pretty exciting and of course this is going to be black eventually Wow, that's something. And you use it yourself, Matt, and it worked really well? Wow, on paper. Was it a thick paper or like a, a thinner paper? Because that's fascinating. Wow, that's really cool. And it sort of just leaves a nice, uh, you know, uniform, shiny coat. That's great. And on paper, no less. Wow, that's great. I definitely got to test that out. I got a little tip dry there. So really the trick with this is to make sure that we are constantly reinforcing the drawing and not losing it. Here we have the shadow of her eye next to the eyelid. Just want to make sure that we get rid of the pencil so we paint that in.
and always make sure that we are cleaning this up as we go. So I feel it's like a chess game, you know, we are thinking uh, six, seven moves ahead. So always working to think of what you're going to do later. Sort of prepping it for the next step. And I learned that a lot from, you know, working in uh, pastels primarily for many years. But I'll tell you, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the start so far. I'm happy to wait a paper. Yes, that is. This is the... No, actually, this is the mono eraser. Is it by Tombow? It might be. Let me see. Because the writing's all, all gone on this one. And I think I have it here. I have the other one, the chisel one. Yes, they are by Tombow, definitely. You use them yourself? They're great for drawing and great for everything. Yeah, they're great, Matt. I really love them. So I highly recommend if you get a chance to... Well, let's see if the jury's out. <laughs> let's see how this is when we're done. But right now, I would have to say, with just what I'm working on now, I, I highly recommend it, you know, for the use of the ink and then coming back with the pastel. I know how the pastel is going to work on this surface already, but let's see how it reacts when we go dark with the black. That's, that's a yet to be seen. I do know I'm going to have to get some really nice hard edges here. Wow, the Yupo paper. I've never tried it. I heard some great things about it. Are you going to do uh, airbrush? Oh wow, the scratching technique. That's going to be great. Yeah, let me know how that goes. That's going to be a great experiment. And of course, I'm making sure I'm not overloading the surface with the with the paint.
making sure that the contrast is lower on this side because it's in the shadow than this side which is in the light and that's very important so that's something that you know I make sure that uh, I always show the difference between the light side of the face and the shadow it gives it extra depth going to do Matt I'm going to call it an evening it's uh, getting close to four in the morning here I'm going to get some sleep but thanks so much for joining me it was great great talking to you Matt talking about art and uh, thank you so much for sharing that with the, uh, the the wax and also the Yupo paper I'm really interested to see how your how your experiment comes out with that so this will continue this on YouTube and you know and this way we can see how this paper reacts to it. So hey it's my pleasure. It's great talking to you sir. I hope you have a great rest of the day and I will talk to you soon Matt. Take care sir.